Dennis Cometti here for the clash between North Melbourne and the Eagles. Well, you may not have asked for it, but it's flawless weather here in Launceston. With me is Matthew Richardson. Yes, thanks, Dennis. Real pleasure to be here for this game today. They're not playing for sheep stations today, but we're expecting a real clash in this practice match. Here come West Coast. The batters look great as the players get set to run through them. North Melbourne players run onto the ground. Umpire tosses the coin. North Melbourne win the toss. The opening siren is moments away and you can feel the excitement building. Here we go. It's North Melbourne versus West Coast. Nat Nui with the mighty fist. He has the ball. Tapped by Kennedy. Roback throws the ball. Free kick. That kick is covered a very long distance. Shot by Darling. Darling just makes the goal line. That will settle his nerves. The first goal is always welcome. The Ruckman, conscious of where their teammates are, they wait for the bounce. Nat Nui outstretches his opponent to win the right. He has the ball. He's heading for home. Going for goal number one. That ball's travelling. Nat Nui goes long and gets the goal. Pressure already being applied to the Kangaroos. You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. Tapped by Nat Nui. She gets the ball. Takes possession. Darling approaching home now. Marks. Thompson picks it. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. A low kick from Mountford. That kick was asking a bit much of Tarrant. Cunnington has it. Jams it on the boot. Takes it well. Kicks it. McGovern marks on the run. Jams it on the boot. A good mark under the circumstances. Keeps it close to the ground. She, the better man there. She, shown a lot of character with his recent performances. Zeeble, with the mark. He slams that on the boot. Turner, with beautiful hands above the head. He really is a great target to kick to. He doesn't want to take too long lining this shot up. Gannett really got onto that one, right off the sweet spot. Cunnington gets it on the bounce. Duggan doesn't waste that opportunity. McGovern hand passes. Low spearing kick. Gaff with an easy mark. Short pass. Shuey spills it. DeMont tries his luck along the ground. Gathers the ball, grabs the footy. West Coast sending out Darling. Nat Nui wins the tap. Terrible timing by Goldstein. She collects it. Athlete looking like a Manchester United player. Redden gets the tap. Takes control of the bouncing ball. A lovely drop punt. Strong mark by Hartan. Gets boot to high. Takes that one strongly. Simpkin with the kick. Nice contested mark by Yeo. Yeo sends one up towards the wing. Great mark under pressure. North Melbourne with a lot to think about as they trail by 12. It's a lack of faith that makes teams afraid of meeting challenges. I believed in myself and my teammates that we could overcome any obstacle. North Melbourne will need to find some of that belief to get back into this game and on their terms.
We'll go to Richo for this stance. North Melbourne and West Coast are very level on the possession count, which reflects the evenness of this contest. Both teams fairly close in the handball stats, four to three. The scoreboard definitely reflects what a marking powerhouse the Kangaroos have been. Thank you very much, Richo. The second quarter begins. Always make a total effort, even when the odds are against you. Goldstein is a class above. I expect he'll continue to dominate that Nui. The ball spills to Chi. Chewie gets a free kick after throwing the ball. Deft touch from that Nui. He picked it up off the ground. He hand passes the ball. McGovern sticks out his hands and collects the ball. Nat Nui got a fist on him. Gets a handball away. Cunnington puts his head down and runs in. Perfect kick. That's his first. North Melbourne on the scoreboard now. Umpire has the ball, ready for the centre bounce. Vardy really gets onto this one. The ball in the hands of Zebel. Redden gains possession through the interception. Nice interception. Batted down nicely by Zebel. Kicked by Brown. Wood had no chance at that one. That decision was like taking a beer to a job interview. Not a very good idea. Down goes Goldstein. Goldstein slams one on the boot for goal. Score for North Melbourne. That will settle his nerves. The first goal is always welcome. Goldstein is the heart and soul of this footy club. I don't think he'll be going anywhere anytime soon. Big leap. Able to grab it on the half volley. McGovern bumps. Good mark on the run. Jeddah is very loyal, but it's not that hard when you're doing what you love. He gets boot to the ball. The mark will be paid. Sending it on its way. Maston with real good use of the body. Whoa, that's a nice long kick. Strong mark by Shepard. 35 metres out. Going for goal number one. Shepard scores with a beautiful kick. He sinks his first goal. West Coast with a marginal one goal lead. All is in readiness. The bounce straight down. Punch by Vardy. He has the ball. He gets his hands on the footy. Tapped by Brown. He takes control of the loose ball. Bumps the big skin. Wade kicks it. Nice mark there. 30 metres from home. A 45 degree angle shouldn't be too hard for Simkin. Simkin with the goal. That will settle his nerves. The first goal is always welcome. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. The bounce. Brown is really good at getting up in the ruck, but his directional taps need some more work. Rovat gets the footy. Head down, going for goal. Schofield just wanted it more then. He gets boot to the ball. Hearn with the ball. He boots it. Hutchings with the mark. Hutchings sends one up towards the wing. He had his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. It's the end of the first half and the scores are level at 18. Let's check out the stats. A real arm wrestle out there with the possession stats at 52% to 48%. Neither team showing any superiority in the tackling count today. Really close, locked horns in the tackle contest, 11 to 10. Hmm, that's pretty deep, Richo. An interesting first half. Let's see how the third quarter pans out when we return from our halftime break. Well, the players have had a good rest and they look refreshed, ready for the third term. They've come out from the long break and hopefully they have agreed upon the price they must pay for success. Doing this enables teams to ignore the minor hurts, the opposition pressure and the temporary failures. And the mark will be paid. Sends it on its way. Hands like dinner plates. Boots it. Solid as a rock and he comes away with a lovely contested mark. 40 minutes from home. Nat Nui on a 30 degree angle right here. 
Nat Nui with a great kick. We'll be happy with goal number two. The Eagles by a goal. Nat Nui can read the play really well. I think he's definitely on his way to becoming one of the best in the league. Punched by Goldstein. Redden with the football. Was that a throw? I think it was. Gets boot to leather. Cunnington presents and takes the mark. Cunnington seems like he's enjoying his footy. I think he's going to be around for a long time. Hearn boots it. Shuey marks the ball. Puts boot to ball. She gets the upper hand. Bumps the big skin. Takes it well. Takes his time as he lines up for goal. It's okay to have butterflies. Just get them in flying formation. Shepard with a kick at goal. He holds his breath. It looked like a goal, but it grazed the post. West Coast by seven points. He may just play onto himself here. The options are few and far between at the moment. Choose to kick it. Good mark by DeMont. Low kick. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. That was the peg. Atlee has so much potential. He could just be anything. He wins the contested mark. Gaff passes it. Zebul can't hold on. Jams it on the boot. Nice contested mark by Shepard. 45 metres out. Going for goal number two. The kick just clears the line for a goal. West Coast have scored the last two goals. West Coast starting to exert some dominance over the Kangaroos with the lead of 31 to 18. Has it now. McGovern comes away with the ball. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. He gets a fist to it. The ball gets smothered. Zebul will get the free. Zebul kicks it. Kept his composure then. He gets boot to the ball. Redden gets the mark without contest. He kicks the ball. He climbs the ball. She puts it on the boot. Spilled by Marston. Jams it on the boot. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. There's been a lot to enjoy in the third quarter. The scores at West Coast 31, North Melbourne 18. If West Coast can maintain their structures and continue playing on their terms, then this game is a foregone conclusion. So it's just about the last roll of the dice if the Kangaroos contend to make any inroads to this deficit. We'll go to Richo for this stance. Both teams are neck and neck for handball disposals. Not a lot of difference in the tackling stats. The Kangaroos are slightly ahead with 15 to 12. Much appreciated, Richo. There's the siren for the final quarter, and play is underway. It ain't over till it's over. Nat Nui punches. A favourable bounce. Interception. Superb handball. Off the ground. Chewie is starting to get a lot of the football. That kick has covered a very long distance. Hands like dinner plates. 50 metres out. Lecrac takes aim for goals. Hasn't got the carry. That kick was gigantic. Great goal. I'm sure we'll look back and exaggerate the distance in years to come. The Ruckmen steal themselves before the bounce. Both Rucks have a fair shot at this one. Nat Nui can really set the tone of the game with his Ruck work. He just always gives his team first use of the ball. He kicks the ball. Dumont marks the ball. He kicks the ball. Cunnington put the mark. He slams that on the boot. McGovern takes the mark. Sends the Sharon on its way. He spent that one before he had it. Interception. Gains possession. Turner kicks it out of the congestion. Garner claims it. Let's have the shot at goal is as good as the delivery. 50 minutes from home. A chance to add one more to his tally. He holds his breath. Slots it. Garner gets number two. Big trouble for the Kangaroos. They need to kick a few now. You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. Nat Nui is a smart guy, but he's got to keep a cool ahead so he can make the right decisions more often. Gets a handball to the running man. He handballs it. Gaff kicks it. No one around troubling him there. Cripps boots it. Redden spills it. 
Atley takes advantage. Zebul dishes it off to the running man. Good mark. Takes his time as he lines up for goal. It's okay to have butterflies, just get them in flying formation. McGovern has got some sure hands. He doesn't often fumble the loose ball. He kicks the ball. Cunnington kicks it. He gets the upper hand, concentrating hard as he lines up the goal. Roback going for number one. It's going. Roback gets the goal from a long way out. The Kangaroos trailing, but they can still easily catch up from here. The Rucks prepare to go at it for this bounce. Bounce goes the ball. Brown with the tap. He gathers the loose ball. Pumps it inside the 50. Great mark under pressure. He kicks it. Clean pick up by Barance. Not many touches of the ball for him. Good drop punt by Duggan. He takes an uncontested mark. Dio kicks it. McGovern claims the ball. Gets boot to high. The Kangaroos couldn't do it. Richo, did you enjoy the matchup between West Coast and the Kangaroos? You have to take some positives out of the loss, but they're going to get judged by the media because it was just such a big game. You don't want to make a habit out of excessing losses like that. Cheers, Richard. West Coast lead the Kangaroos 37 to 30 with the final siren. Well, that's all we have time for. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Richo. Well, thanks for having me. That's all we have time for. We'll see you next time.